And welcome back, Bobcat Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty following Coach Conquest. We are 8-2, and two, sitting 5-2 and two in the Pac-12 Conference. We battle the Utes of Utah this week. They are 4-5, and 2-3 and three in the Pac-12. Looks like Kirk is going with us. And man, I must say that I am enjoying this series this year. It has been up and down and just topsy-turvy, and I love the drama that comes with it. I just love dynasty and franchise modes all together. I don't know. I was even looking at FIFA 22 and being like, do I want to give EA money to create a club and build up to the Premier League? Who knows? Life is crazy. But we do have some prospects visiting this week. We need to make sure that we do our best and forget the rest and get ready for the game at hand. The last two games this season, we have Utah this week, and then in two weeks, we have Texas A&M. Out of the SEC, both teams sub-500. There is a slight window that we can get to back to the national title game, but a lot has to happen. There are some big matchups this week, which if the teams on the bottom upset the top teams, we could have an open door to the national championship. If not, we'll probably be playing in one of the big four bowl games. But we've got to take care of business this week and in two weeks. A lot of people always ask about the recruiting. I've done a little bit of that in the past few weeks, but I thought I would show you the recruiting top classes. We have the number two ranked class right now. We only have 10 prospects that have signed, but they are all three stars and above with six four stars leading it. Taking a look at our top signees, wide receiver, quarterback combo, and Dawson and Jackson. They are probably the future if Eric Williams cannot take over. Dawson, can he fill the hole that Sean Burnett, Johnny Walker, Chuck Denman are going to leave? That is a big group to fill. What does look good is three through six there, two centers and two guards. Bulking up that offensive line, we needed that. It is a good class coming in, and the future looks bright for Texas State and the Bobcats. Oh, me, oh, my, it is snowing here in Utah. I was wrong. I thought we were the home team. It said versus Texas State. But we are on the road here, and this is a first for the Bobcats coming out of Texas. We are up here in Salt Lake in the mountains. Yeah, we're going to have to adjust, and we're wearing all white uniforms. It would have been good to know exactly what the weather was before we dressed and packed for the game. But here come Utah out on the field. In real life, they got a big team going, but hopefully here in Salt Lake City, Utah, we could take care of them. We are at Rice Eckley's Stadium, I believe what is it's called. And I'm sure Swoop the Ute. Oh, a little bickering between the teams here at the start. I am too, so shook up about the snow. I've Number four, Texas State. We struggle in the rain. I don't know what the snow is going to be like, but we're about to find out taking on Utah today. Number 79. We lost the toss, so we'll get the ball here at the first of the game. Looks like Chuck Denman's going to be taken off in the snow. We'll see if we can get some good blocks. Denman slowed up on the snow. I think he was sliding a little bit, but that will bring up Brian Jones, and Brian Jones has had a career year. Big plays, probably breaking some records. We'll see what goes on today here in the snow. How is Coach Conquest gonna go about this? He's gonna give it to Thomas, and Thomas a big run up the middle, and he'll get eight yards. Lots of slipping and sliding going on out there, which is expected. It was second and two. And they go play action, and he's wide open. They hit Johnny Walker up the middle, and he's across midfield, 24 yards. Great play there. And he just had a pocket the size of Utah right there to catch that in. And he's finally wrinkled down. Jones back in shotgun again. He's going to deliver that. Oh, Burnett had a hold of it and it just got knocked out of his hands. He needs 150 yards or so to get a, over 1,000. They're going to 10 here. We'll hand off up the middle and Thomas, Thomas squeaking through. Thomas will get four. So it'll be third and six here. Jones changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He's going to go deep. He 
it. He's got Daryl Brown in there for 43 yards. And Daryl Brown quietens the crowd here in the snow. That was the hot route called by Brian Jones. He takes the hit, and Brown left three guys behind him. And that's going to put Texas State on top here first, six to nothing. David Carter coming out. This team has not given up the fight after losing two this season. Coach Conquest said he knew that they had it in them, but he was worried most teams will give up if they think the title is out of contention. But anything can happen here in college football as Carter kicks this one off deep. We'll see if they bring it out. Presley is coming out. Lots of slipping and sliding. 22-yard return. Go first and 10. We'll see what this Utah offense brings to the table. This in their tight end in motion. And the pressure's coming, and they're going to get to him on the first play of the game. And that is a sack for TJ Manning. Skylar White losing that. And that was the first play of scrimmage for Utah, not the first play of the game. Excuse me. That is a sign of things to come. Utah is in for a long day indeed. Pressure coming again, and he's just going to throw that one down. Third and long now. Good third and long. They put two to the right. Utah. Pressure coming again. He's got all day to throw. The throw is out there, and it's just over his head. He had a small window, and he missed it. That will force a punt. Punt is away. Chuck Dinman, who is a senior this year. Looking for it, looking. Chuck Dinman holds on to it. Almost dropped it there. The snow really having an effect today on the turf. First and 10. We're going to hand off. Draw play. Thomas. Thomas staying on his feet. Thomas still digging. He'll get three yards. Plays coming in quickly today. Coach Conquest. Matt Nelson getting them out there. And he's going to hit Thomas on the side of Thomas. He rolls forward and he's short a yard. They had to swing that one around. Great throw by Jones and an even better catch by Thomas. Third and one. And he's looking, he's looking at Thomas around the outside. Thomas pushing and he's finally ran out of bounds after 14 yards and the first down. Two games left in the season. And Daryl Brown's going to make a catch there. 10 yards, but they do not give him the first. Two games left in the season for records to be set for some of these seniors. Snap it quickly, and there goes Thomas up the middle. Thomas shaking and baking. He's got the first down. That's five more yards. Thought he's definitely cold today. First and 10. And he hits Johnny Walker, and Walker's in there for the touchdown, and Texas State goes up two scores. Johnny Walker, another senior from Richmond, Texas here, and the tight end puts it in for six. Extra point is up and good. 14-0 Texas State here early in this game. Carter out to kick off. This one a little deeper. We'll see what they do here. Presley is coming out. And you got big hit there. He shakes it off, but then another massive hit there. My God, that was Anthony Morris out of Hiram, Utah, playing in front of his family today. First and 10, they bunch up to the right. See if Utah can get some of their cadence going, some of their plays. Oh, they got some great blocks on the outside. And there's a big hole for the run. And finally, they drag him down, but he's across midfield. Pat Hall with 35 yards for the Utes. But Utah does find some hope from Spark. And the pressure's going to get to him there. And that spark blades as Jeff Mills, the junior in our Mansfield, Texas, comes in and gets his first sack of the day. Second and 17. And they're going to run. The quarterback's going to keep it. Phil Harris is out there, slows him up, and then finally he's pulled down by Caleb Evans. Third and long now. Offensive line of the Bobcats sneak in here. And they're going to go, and they get a past it, and that's a great play, and he's going to run out of bounds. Fritz on the coverage there, 31-yard reception. Just a great route. Utah in position now to maybe strike back here in the first quarter, make this game a game. They're going to run, and he's brought down by Daryl Lumpkin and TJ Manning with the help. 
two yard gain on the play. That makes it second and eight. Make it an eight. They're gonna run the other way this time and he gets brought down by Schneider, but they're gonna give him the first down. First and goal for the Utes of Utah. First and goal, they spread it out pretty good. It's a screen and they almost get to him. Phil Harris is the only one and he cannot pull him down and Utah has got on the board. And Utah has battled back here to make it a one score game bearing the extra point. Good screenplay there. Utah here in the snow has brought it back. It's like Chuck Denman working on this one, looking for some blocks, and he's got a few. And Chuck Denman's got a lot of room up the side. Chuck Denman, Chuck Denman down the sideline. Is he going to do it again? Chuck Denman in the snow is slaying all the way to the end zone for a 102 yard return. The Chuck Denman show has been showing up here at the end of the season. And the senior out of Brent, Florida, is making the best of it. Trying to get back to the All-American squad and doing runs like that will do it. Texas State goes back up by two scores. After a 28-yard return, Utah spreads them out a little bit. Four wide receivers out there now. This is the first look they've showed today. Maybe they know they gotta get down the field and they gotta score points. And they will hit Presley. He'll pick up eight on the quick pass. Quick out route. Second and two. Oh, and they jump there. This a little too happy. You don't like it when the offensive linemen go dancing. Second and seven. Wilson to go in motion. Good protection for the quarterback. He's going to dump it, but Wilson steps out of bounds. He slid a little bit in the snow, and it's going to be third and six. A little gamble here. Blitz is coming. Oh, and Fritz gets him. Fritz will pull him down. It was not a sack, but he does keep the first down from happening, and it's fourth and five, and they'll probably punt. Quarter winding down. We'll see if they punt it here. They do. So the last play of the quarter is going to be a Chuck Denman return. Chuck Denman looking. Chuck Denman gets another block. Chuck Denman running in the snow. Chuck Denman finally pulled down at the 45. Good return by Chuck Denman on the punt. He's got the legs today, and we will go to the second quarter and Texas State is up big, 21 to seven and the ball in their possession. Part of the second. And there's some good running and Thomas, what a spin there, Thomas, he's up the middle, he's still there. And now he's down 18 yard rush there and the snow helping him out today. He had a good game last one. He was injured and had to leave, but he is here now and he is racking up the yards. Good blocking downfield for him. And Jones handing the ball off here again. More good blocks and Darren Thomas on the outside. Darren Thomas has some room. Darren Thomas to juke. Thomas is in the end zone. What a run. Darren Thomas putting together a highlight reel these last two weeks. My Lord, where has this been? Oh year long thomas down the sideline made him broke his ankles and texas state goes up three scores and carter's extra point makes it 28 to 7 here in the second half turn he's got lots of room himself and he slowed up and finally they'll bring him down. Another good return. Lots of room today in the snow as it's hard to get positioning when you're trying to make a tackle. Utah in a dangerous zone now. They really need to get something together and increase this, uh, uh oh, and decrease this lead. He'll get a couple yards on that rush. They don't want to have to have a punt here. A three and out would be devastating. All in the backfield here for the Utes. He's in the tight end to the right in motion. And the pressure's coming. Oh, and that's not down. Great coverage there. That was Phil Harris. Number 84, the intended. Third and six. Pressure coming. They get to him. And that's a drop pass. And that is going to force a punt. Utah, the team that is used to playing in the snow, is not showing it today. Texas State coming out here, putting on a clinic. Chuck Denman, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. I didn't know we were that close. I couldn't tell because of the snow. First and 10. 
It's like a run, and Thomas, Thomas following his blocker to a, almost a flaw there. Four yards. Oh no, is he hurt? Not today. Come on. Zach Patrick does have to check into the game here. We'll get an update soon. They fake the handoff. And there's another big throw, and he's hit Sean Burnett, and oh my God, Texas State rolling up the score here in the second half, or the second quarter. Brian Jones, three touchdowns on six passes, and that is a new school record as we was talking earlier. Sean Burnett setting the school receiving touchdown records in a career with 33. Congrats to Burnett. The extra point is good, but we're still waiting for word from the medical tent on Darren Thomas. Harder launching this one. Texas State cruising right now. Darren Thomas, minor injury will keep him in. They go empty backfield. Utah already feeling the pressure. Can our line get to him? They're gonna swing it out. He's thrown out of bounds. Four yards for Franklin Hurd. Second and six here. The pressure's coming. He got rid of the ball. Good opening. And a big hit by Terrell Schneider there, but it's still 15 yards as they hold on. And Utah desperately trying to put together a drive here and get some points before half. They do get the ball after halftime. Open the Texas State defense has not got complacent. Oh, and it doesn't look like it. And that's a big hit there by Jeff Mills, the junior. That brings up second and 13. Just shrug off his man and just stuff that play for a three yard loss. Second and 13. Going for the screen again, and they're going to get it off. Oh, and it's going to be a big gain here. Fritz is thrown down. Fritz trying to catch him, and will trip him up and save the touchdown. But 41 yards on the pass play there. We just didn't jump in time to block it. And it's a big, oops, the big chunk of yards for the Utes. First and 10. And they're going to keep it with the quarterback. And Phil Harris lays the wood to him. Four yard gain though. That makes it That's a big hit. He'll remember that one. Six yards to go for the first. They're going to run it again. Errol Lumpkin, they're going to try to pull him down. He'll get across first down, and it's first and goal now. And the UD cheerleaders celebrating. First and goal. They're going to slide to the left, maybe. Pressure's coming. He's got plenty of time. And they're going to bring him down. He'll get four yards, though. Skylar White trying to keep the Utah team above water right now, doing everything he can. I do like to see, uh, and that's a run up the middle, and Utah is going to put points on the board here. So their offense has come out and responded, and their defense come out and get a stop on Texas State here with 3.02 to go till half. This one's deep, but you know Chuck Dinman's going to come out with it. Chuck Denman getting a host of blocks. Chuck Denman running into his own man. Chuck Denman stops back. I think if he wouldn't have hit his own man, he would have been gone 44 yards though. 2.56 to go till half. Thomas in there. Thomas rolling seven more yards. That will put him over 100 for the day or right at. That may actually be Darren Thomas's first 100 yard game of his career. And Brian Jones is in trouble and he's gonna get sacked. And it's gonna go back to third in the original 10. Brian Jones. Trying to figure out what he can do here. And he's gonna hit Johnny Walker and Johnny Walker gets the first down 12 yards for the senior. First and 10. And he's gonna lob that over looking for Johnny Walker, but Johnny Walker, oh, late hit there, no call by the ref. Second to 10, Brian Jones fakes the handoff. Quick throw, he'll hit Sean Burnett. Sean Burnett will get the first down 13 yards. And the clock's still ticking. No Coach Conquest does not wanna hand the ball back to Utah. 
And there's a run, and Thomas will get six more yards. Clock nearing one minute. Second and four. Looks like a blitz is coming. Patrick goes in motion. Quick throw. Sean Burnett again. Sean Burnett. First down. First and 10, 43 seconds left in the half. They fake the handoff. He gets rid of that one quickly and it hits Willie McTaggart. Willie McTaggart, seven yards. It looks like they're gonna call a timeout here. Coach Conquest gonna dial something in the score. Second and three. And he's gonna to toss that one and oh, Johnny Walker went up for it. He couldn't come down with it. And now it's third and three, 31 seconds left. Shaw's gonna go in motion. And they're gonna run, and that's Thomas, and Thomas cuts it, Thomas is in there for the touchdown! Where is this running been, Darren Thomas? And Texas State has put 41 points on the board. About to be 42 here in the first half of this game. Utah comes out, three wide receivers to the right. They've got 27 seconds and all three timeouts. Pressure is coming. And they're gonna tackle him inbounds. They're gonna have to use a timeout. 22 seconds left. Pressure coming again. Great play there. Oh, good moves. And they may almost be at field goal range. Second timeout used, 17 seconds. We've got three receivers to the left here. Pressure, they're trying and they're gonna get out of bounds. Maybe just aiming for a field goal here. Second and eight. Fresh. Ooh, Mills thrown down. It's a, like a screen. TJ Manning is over there, and TJ Manning can't. Oh my God! 22 means business, but that may run out the clock. It's gonna, they're gonna have time to make. Oh, that was their last time out there. Excuse me. I thought they used it, so now they're gonna have to settle for a field goal. They really need this for a confidence boost, and it is up, and it is good. He just slides it in there, and that will take us to halftime. Halftime, Texas State, biggest halftime production of the career of Co Coach Conquest, 42-17. And we'll start the second half here. The Bobcats coming to play today here in the snow. We'll see if Utah can string something together and get back in this game. They'll kneel down here as we start the second half. The first play from scrimmage here in the second half. Utah's got a hefty, hefty thing in front of them. And they're going to start out hot there. 14 yard pass to Justin Wilson. Fritz was on the coverage. Utah's going to go empty backfield here. They're going to try to gamble again, try to spread us out. And they're going to throw, and they got a man open, and it's Jones again, and that's good for 24 yards. Trey Jones. Look, before y'all give me a hard time, I'm sure that was Trey Jones, but I thought Trey Jones would be funny. So we'll go first and 10. Utah pushing down the field. Tight end goes in motion to the left. And they're through, and that's a quick pass, and he couldn't hold on to it. Too hot to handle. And Utah goes empty backfield again. Five wide receivers. And they're gonna hit the short man, and that's gonna be good for the first down. No, it's not, excuse me. He fell over the line, but the officials are gonna mark him short. Three receivers go to the left for the Utah offense here. And they're gonna hold the ball. The quarterback's gonna keep it, and he's gonna get, oh, look away. Phil Harris from Union Springs, Alabama, comes through and blows up White. And the crowd booing that, and it's fourth down. The crowd not happy at all at that play call. They know they needed some points here against the fourth ring Bobcats. Boos raining down. The field goal is up, and it is true. And that will make it 42 20. Chuck Dinman, let's see what he can do here. He's got some good blocks there. Chuck Dinman, oh, got pulled down from behind. Oh, they said he was still up for a second, but he is marked down. So Brian Jones and the offense will come back out. You wonder if Utah has dialed up something defensively that could slow down this team. And it does look like they're gonna get Thomas for a loss of one there. Second and 11. 
There's a good pass to Daryl Brown, and he's going to push over and get the first down 15 yards on the play. First and 10, under five left in the third quarter. And Thomas looks like he slipped a little bit out of the gate. He'll only get two there. Almost jumped. Thomas is going to leave the backfield. And he's going to throw it over to Ian, and he goes out of bounds. Only get two yards on that. The throw just was a little late getting there. So third and long. Crowd starting to get into it a little bit here. And there's a throw, and they hit Jamar Norton. And look at the moves this youngster's got. Jamar Norton, the freshman out of California, showing the future of the receiving core. Looks good. Beat his man. Put a little razzle-dazzle on it. And that's going to move the sticks. First and 10 here. And they're going to try to run to the side. Thomas takes a good cut. Thomas, he'll jut through and get seven yards. Second and three here. And Jones is going to keep it, and he's going to get the first down. And they use Thomas as the decoy there, and the Thotties are all excited about that. First and 10, Jones down it in here. And he's going to hit McTaggart, and McTaggart does a nice little spin move, and he'll get 12 yards in the first down. First and 10, Doug Denman goes in motion. They're going to hand it to Denman, and Denman's going to cut through. Denman's still going, and Denman's going to pick up about six on the jet sweep. Hand off up the middle, and there's Thomas again, and Thomas is in the end zone. His third touchdown of the day. And Utah still has no answers for this Bobcat offense as it is 49 to 20. Carter to blast this one away. Deep in the end zone. Presley will bring it out. Oh. Bailey come at him a little too hard. Slid on the snow. First play from scrimmage here. Dawson coming through. DJ Manning will push him out of bounds. Five yards on the pass. Five yards to go. Line collapsing. Pressure was there. He somehow got that ball away. The receiver's still up. And he's going to pick up 10 yards. Tough run there by Wilson after the catch. Call looking. Pressure's coming. Pressure's coming. And White goes down. Skyler White. He's trying to hold the ship together. But the flooding is happening. Phil Harris coming around the edge, getting credit for the sack there. Second and very long now. More pressure coming, and they're going to get him again. Skyler White goes down again. Daryl Lumpkin, the sophomore out of Georgia. Credit for the sack, and Skyler White's got to be feeling some of these hits. It is third and 25 now. A minute 38 to go here in the third quarter. Got to feel sorry for Skyler White. You know, we've been there before with some of our players. Dawson was through, but he falls down. And he's got Mel. Oh, and that's a good move, but they just get knocked out, and it's fourth and ten. A great play call on the screen. The snow causing some issues there, and it almost paid off. About a minute to go. They're going to punt it. Chuck Denman waiting back here. Chuck Denman. Chuck Denman's going to reverse field. Chuck Denman's got a lot of room if he can get it past a couple of people. Chuck Denman turns the corner. Chuck Denman, they've got somebody waiting back for him. Chuck Denman around. Chuck Denman, oh, he's brought down 78 yards, and it's going to be first and goal for Texas State. If you're a Bobcat fan, this has been a very fun game today. They are out there having fun in the snow. They're going to hand it off to Thomas, and he is in for his fourth touchdown of the day. He has tied a record set by Tom Sutton. And in one play, the score is now 56 to 20. You got to think the day is almost over for the first string. Presley is going to bring this one out. Good shoelace tackle there, Anthony Nichols. Utah just struggling today with the elements. Pressure coming in. There's another sack. 
My lord, TJ Manning blows up the middle of the line, his second sack of the day. Skyler White's woes continuing. They go with the empty backfield look again. And they'll go short, and TJ Manning is there to hit that four yards on the play, third down. And the quarter runs out, and as we go to the fourth, Texas State controlling this game from the start, 56 to 20. Third and, third and 10, he's looking, he's got pressure, and Fritz, Fritz with a second interception, and he's out of bounds. Holy crap, Fritz has showed up. He's given up a few plays today, but that grab was perfect. And the crowd really booing, but Coach Conquest congratulating Fritz. First and 10. A little wow. drop. Oh, Chuck Denman again. What a great pass Chuck Denman come to play today. That was an amazing catch. One-handed. Brian Jones had to lift it over the linebacker, and Denman does an amazing job of bringing it down. First and 10. Thomas is going to leave. Empty the backfield. He's going to air that one out. And Sean Burnett goes up and makes the catch. 33 yards, a handshake for a job well done. And they have put 62 points on the board today. And Utah being embarrassed out of their own stadium. The extra point is good, 63 to 20. And the starting squad takes a break. David Carter kicks this off. Pads coming off some of the starters. We'll see some of the second string coming out here on offense and defense, getting a chance to strut their stuff for next season. Parker, Brown, and Rust are your defensive line in there today. Lawrence Galloway in at, got Nichols in there, and they're gonna come up, and they're gonna give a little bit of yardage. The rush is for 14 yards. Empty backfield. And that is thrown over the middle. Oh, and it's dropped, and Taylor comes up with it. Oh, my Lord. And that is a turnover, and that is Casey Taylor, the junior out of Downey, California. Hardly ever gets in the game. He gets in the day and catches it off the deflection, and everything just going the way of the Bobcats. So Eric Williams will come over and take the reins. Zach Patrick in at running back. Zach Patrick, flag on the play. Holding, off Holding on one of the young offensive linemen. Who do we have here? Joe Wood, freshman out of Midland, Texas. He'll learn. Some block, Zach Patrick looking. He'll get maybe a yard. He's not running behind the first squad anymore. In the 19. And Williams gonna air that one out and it's almost picked off. He's trying to hit Chuck Denman over there. So third and 19. For some reason we're up this big amount and Eric Williams is nervous as can be. And I'm not sure why. As we try to run the screenplay here. And Zach Patrick's got some block. Zach Patrick, Zach Patrick. Zach Patrick gets the first down on the screenplay. 23 yards. And that's good. That is about the way the day has went for Utah. All they had to do is to get a tackle and he misses in the snow. And Zach Patrick has the skill and the speed to get up there and get the first down. Well, they continue to run down the clock here. Another handoff, and Zach Patrick's gonna cut it back, and he's gonna barrel down, barrel down, 12 yard gain. Peer leaders need to put some pants on. Cold out. First and 10. He's gonna throw it out to Cochran. Cochran, oh, Cochran with an elusive maneuver. Nicely done, Eric Cochran. The sophomore halfback out of Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, the third string running back. Good moves by him. Got three and some change left in the game. 
going to hand off again, and Patrick will fall forward, and he'll get the first down. First and goal. First and goal. And Williams is going to keep it. Williams, he'll get a yard, maybe two, on the option. Second and goal. And that is almost picked off. Lamp route just wasn't ran to perfection. Tiger Norton, Johnson, Denman out there. And they're going to try to run this one in. Patrick! And it doesn't look like he got it. It's on the two-inch yard line. Will, what will Conquest do here? And he's sending out the offense. And I guess it's a matter of yardage. If they miss it here, it's 99 yards all the way back downfield. If they get it, well... Who knows? Here's the handoff, and Patrick gets in there, and they're going to have 70 on the board on Utah here today in the snow. And I don't think that anything Texas State could have done today would have changed that. And that is going to do it. A 50-point shellacking here today. Texas State, they came to play, and they melted the snow on their way. Just a total offensive and defensive clinic. And it looks like Darren Thomas is your player of the game. 16 carries, 130 plus yards, four touchdowns. It's good to see him finally break out of his shell. Well, you don't see a score line like that often. The fourth ranked Texas State 70, Utah 20. We'll have to see what happens in the rest of the top 25. Brian Jones today, another immaculate game by him. 16 for 19, 84% completion, four touchdowns, and 313 yards. He was only sacked once today. His longest was 76 yards, just a really good outing for him. Eric Williams come in two for four, 30 yards. Not bad for the youngster. He did have a couple of errant throws, but he is young. Darren Thomas, your player of the game, 16 attempts, 136 yards, averaged eight and a half. Where has that been? Four touchdowns on the day, the longest 37 yards. Zach Patrick also coming in there, making some great catches. We'll see him on the other screen. But five for 21 yards, four and, a half, four and two, 4.2 average. And he also had a touchdown today. Look at this stat line. Reception, Sean Burnett just put another notch on his belt. Another 100-yard game, 131 yards on four catches. Two of them, touchdowns. Johnny Walker, three for 49 and a touchdown. And then Daryl Brown, three for 68. And a touchdown. McTaggart, Thomas, Cochran, Patrick, Denman, and Norton also making big catches today. TJ Manning, two sacks today, six tackles. Solid showing by him. Terrell Schneider, also four tackles. Let's take a look at the rest of the sack list. We got Jeff Mills in there, Phil Harris, and Daryl Lumpkin. Interceptions today, Casey Taylor and Brandon Fritz getting out there. Fritz also had four tackles on the line. David Carter had an easy day today. 10, count them, 10 extra point attempts, and he made all of them. Uh, no punting today. Fred Pickens, he just stayed on the bench. Chuck Dimon today, four kick returns, almost 200 yards out of that, almost average 50. One touchdown, that 101 yard long. He also had a great day in the punt return category, over 100 yards on that, and that long of 78 almost brought that one back to the house as well. Just an all-around domination game. We had over 500 yards of total offense, 343 passing yards, and don't forget that we had 106 yards or 160 yards in rushing. NCAA throwing some shade. Humiliation. The Bobcats insult Utah 70 to 20. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to week 13 just to see what happened in the rest of the top 25. And here we are on the top 25 polls, and there has been a shakeup. Ohio State took care of business last week. Notre Dame taking care of business. Texas State taking care of business. Somebody did not take care of business. Miami gets humiliated by Virginia. 14 to 41. Texas State is one game out. Now, here's where it gets interesting. We're on by this week. So is Notre Dame. Ohio State has I, I, IU this week, Indiana. 
So it doesn't look like they got a big of a challenge, but is there a way that we can jump? I doubt we can jump a 10-win team with one loss. With our two losses, I feel like we're kind of stuck here. Now, I wonder if the BCS poll has us different. No, they have us third as well. The two 10-win teams in OSU and Notre Dame are one and two. I don't think anything remains in their schedule that could bring them down. Ooh, Ohio State has Michigan. There's also conference championships. The thing with that is, I don't think Notre Dame has one of those. They have USC. We may have to cheer for USC next week when we take on Texas A&M. But besides that, they will not have a conference championship because I don't believe I put them. They're not in the, you know, they're in the independence. Okay. Just want to double check that. So there's a slim chance that we could make the title game. Now we will have to maybe play in the Pac-12 title. I'm not sure on that. We are first in the Pac-12 South now. So that means the Pac-12 championship will be between us and a 7-3 and three Washington. Well, we both have games left, but you know what I mean. Technically, Washington State could take that back. It just depends on how many games they have left. Washington has two games left, a big one against Oregon, and then they play Washington State. That game right there could decide who plays us in the Pac-12 title game. It's untelling what can happen. I think USC is done with conference games. Oh, <gasps> They've got UCLA left. So they could technically jump us because they have the tiebreaker against us. So there's still a lot that can happen. We may not even make the Pac-12 championship game. The Pac-12 championship game would help us solidify a spot in the title game if it happens. But they've got that big win against us, but they've lost to every other ranked opponent. We really got to cheer for them against Notre Dame, though. Right now, the computer is guessing that Notre Dame and OSU will play in the national championship game. We are slated to go against the fifth-ranked Georgia Tech in the Orange Bowl. That's not a bad game. Other teams lingering around. We got a fourth-ranked Florida and Oklahoma State. Fiesta Bowl is Miami and Michigan. And then Navy and Washington in the Rose Bowl game, which we could appear in the Rose Bowl game as well. So there could be some big caliber games here at the end of the year. Looking at the awards finalists, just to showcase this, Brian Jones is fifth in the standings for the best quarterback in the nation. Frank Rankin and Daryl Lumpkin both up there for the Bednarik Award. Frank Rankin up there for the Nagurski Award as well. He is ranked first currently. That would be amazing for him to go out as a senior and win that. Brian Jones also up for the O'Brien Award. Daryl Brown up there for the Blitnikoff. Bobby Norton up there in Texas State. I don't call his name much, but he's up there for the best lineman of the year, offensive lineman. Caleb Benson and Frank Rankin up there for the Lombardi. TJ Manning up there for best linebacker. You kind of thought that. And Daryl Lumpkin for the Thorpe. David Carter for the Groza. That's actually a pretty good shout out for one of our kickers. 10 of 12, long of 44, but he's got a number of people in front of him. It's good seeing Bobcats in different places. Here's Fred Pickens up there for the Guy Award, for the Punter Award. That's awesome. He has had some five, it says up there, five down inside the 20. Good for him this season. Chuck Denman up there for the best return man. We usually have great return men. Cho Cho uh, Coach Conquest knows how to find good return men. So back out here to the main screen. <laughs> More shade. Laffer in Salt Lake City. Texas State creams Utah. Improves its conference record to 6-2. and two. What I'll do for the next episode is we're on the bye week. I'll do some recruiting, and I will go to week 14, and I will see where the standings lie. Big games. But until then, you'll have to wait and see. As always, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave some comments below and let me know what your biggest surprise on the award is. Let me know what you thought of that game. Is that capable to happen in the last game against Texas A&M? Are we going to make the national title game? We'll have to wait and find out. But as always, thanks for watching. God bless. And don't forget to make good decisions. Great thanks to these January New Year's Patreons. If they were my income taxes, I would do them and then cry myself to sleep. Kirkland Thomas, Critias, Zachary McKinley, Nicholas Absher, Azure Rain, James Matisse, The Least Expected, and Party Commissar.